Good morning, guys. Um, it has been a hot minute since I've made a video. I think it's February 17th today. Um, I've been so busy with life. Um, and I know I said I was going to make a video every day at the start of this year. And that has not happened. But I'm not giving up on this video, this vlog. Um, I still think it's important. One, it keeps me accountable. And two, I think... It's important because hopefully I can spread um, the sharing the gospel over a video and hopefully give insight to other people and change other people's lives just as much as I'm changing my own. So I'm not giving up on it. It just might be a week before I make a video versus every day. But I'm so excited to share things. Um, and what triggered um, me making a video this morning is I actually have like 15 minutes before I have to leave for church. I don't know how I have that much time, but I do. And I pulled up a verse this morning that really just hit me. Um, it was Exodus 14, 14. And it said, um, the Lord will fight for you. Um, you need only to be still. And I was just like, wow. Like, the Lord's got us. God's got us always. Like, we just need to turn to him. We need to pray to him. We need to let him know what we're going through and that we we want him to help fight like help fight our battles that we're not trying to do it alone. And we just need to pray that to him and then be still in ourselves and be confident that he is going to help us get through it and he is going to take care of us. And for me personally, I think the reason it hit me so hard is that I've been going through some things of, um, my biggest struggles right now is my, the future husband thing and just trying to understand God's timing. And I've been struggling a lot with comparison and loving myself. So when I read that, I was just like, you know, I just really just need to sit back and have faith in God and just stop this constant worrying because worry is the enemy and I really don't like the enemy and I really don't want him to win anyways so why can't I just have faith that God is going to fight for me like he is fighting for me and I just need to trust that and know that so that just that verse just gave me so much confidence of like God is fighting for me but he's also fighting for me in his timing and I need to stop trying to rush things that um I'm not really ready for. I just don't know that because God has the perfect plan, not me. And something too, I was sitting that sitting um and thinking the other day. Uh, I was on Pinterest and one of the journal entries was, "What's your perfect morning?" And this is how crazy and cool God is. I shared it with my friend and her reaction was really cool. So then I I want to share it with everyone else. Um, so I was just thinking and I was like. Well, honestly, my perfect morning is to just wake up at like 7 a.m. and get my coffee and sit down and have my quiet time in my Bible and then watch a Michael Todd video and then start my day. But I'd, I'd like to start my day not rushing. Like I like that quiet time. I like that alone time. And then I was like, that honestly would just be so awesome because some mornings I just feel like I really try and be intentional in doing that, but some mornings to do that, I'd have to get up at like 4.30 in the morning, and I just, I know that I should do it, but realistically, I just can't, so I end up doing it um, either at night or like in the middle of the day, and sometimes I don't like that. I'd rather start my day um, with God in that quiet time because I think it just helps my day go better, um, so so then I was just thinking too, and I was like, what would my perfect, I don't know why this thought popped in my head either. That's what's weird. I was like, what would my perfect morning be like if I had my husband here with me? And I was like, it would be me getting up uh, and making him breakfast and getting to serve him breakfast and uh, like us spend time together um, and him just appreciate what I was doing for him. And in that moment, I was like, wow, I get it. I just was like, I see you, God. I get it. Because I realized that if I had a husband today or tomorrow, I would not be putting God first in my life. And 
that's why God does not want me to be in a relationship right now. And that's why God doesn't want me to have a husband right now because I would not be putting him first. And I was just like, and he did that through my own thoughts. And I was just like, wow, because honestly, my perfect morning should be me with a husband should be me getting up and still wanting to spend alone time with God. And that should still be ideal or spending alone time with my husband and God. But instead, I was still, I'm still so consumed in wanting to please the man of the man or wanting, to, like I'm such a people pleaser that I'd want to make my husband happy before making God happy or making myself happy for God. And that's what God wants me to work on. So I was just like, wow, that's crazy. Just in my own thoughts, God led me to figure that out for myself. So that was like really cool. And um, I don't know, it's just like, it's hard because like, I'm like, I understand, but I don't want to understand because I'm like, oh, no, but it's, it's still pretty cool to see. And then the comparison thing right now, I'm in like, I just get super bad anxiety over like little things. And like church asked me, H2O Church, um, the church I go to at here, they asked me to do, make a video from a mission trip we went on that has still had so many impacts till this day on my life um, that I was not expecting. But man, God has worked some craziness in my life and I'm just so thankful for that because I really needed it. But they asked me to make a video that they're going to play at church on the big screen. And that is just giving me so much anxiety because so many people are going to see me and all I can think about is how do I look in the video because I didn't get to see the video and for me I think it's just like praying God like give me peace give me ease of mind of it doesn't matter what I look like it, the message is what matters and I'm just really struggling with that so you know like God's fighting for me he's going to get the message across that I was trying to say um I know I rolled my eyes a lot in the video, so I'm also nervous for that. But I just need to let it go. Like, that doesn't matter. What matters is what I was saying in the video, and that touches people's hearts. And I think God will allow that to happen because that's what he wants to happen through the video. So I just need to, like, stay calm and stop stressing about that. But, yeah, that was just what I wanted to share. Um, that's all I really have. I hope that you guys are doing well in your lives and you're still fighting um february's over halfway over that's so crazy i remember starting february 1st and saying like if you got goals get them done um i think i've been so busy that the months are just flying by so i think i need to like take some things off my schedule because i've been over committing to things for sure but i'm just like wow this is crazy. My last year of school, last semester of school is almost done. And now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with my life because I feel a calling to go into ministry. And I felt that heavily in January. And now I'm not really feeling it so much. But I have faith in God. He's going to lead me where I need to go. Uh, I really want to open my own landscaping business. So, yeah, that that's a new one. <laughs> I've always felt like really different poles in different directions. So... Maybe I just need to like wind it in and really, really pray to God and not just feel things in my heart and do them, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Sunday is my favorite day of the week, so I love Sundays. They put me in a great mood. I just, it's awesome. It's, it's God's day, but really every day is God's day, so I don't really like saying that, um, but yeah, I just love Sundays. I love the... The fact that it's like the start of the week, but there's no school. Um, I don't work on Sundays. That's my one day I refuse to work because I think it's a day to relax, um, which my relaxing consists of getting breakfast or lunch with friends and catching up on all my work. But it's still really relaxing to me and an enjoyable day. So I probably am going to try and go for a run outside today. I did the other day and I was really nervous because it's cold outside. But once I, like, started running a half a mile in, I was, like, totally fine. And it was so, it was really cool. I actually liked running. Um, it was, like, 32 degrees outside. But, um, yeah, it was great. So, I hope you guys really enjoy your week. Um, positive attitude always. 
remember how you feel doesn't determine how you act. Um, and I've been like really working hard on that lately. Um, I haven't been feeling so hot, but I'm just, I, when I have a positive attitude, even though I don't feel that way, the people around me, when I, especially when I'm not feeling that way, but I'm acting that way anyways, it, I notice how much better the people are around me. It puts other people in a better mood. So constantly have a smile on your face, constantly have a positive attitude because you don't really, you don't know how bad the people around you need it. All right, done lecturing. I hope you guys have a great day. I will tune in and hopefully make a video before next week. All right, see you guys later.